When it first launched, the Nord 2 earlier in the year, OnePlus said it was giving us a phone that gives you everything you need, but without the top tier price. And now it's back with a special edition and has teamed up with Bandai Namco to launch it. It's called the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition. I'm called Cam Bunton and I have one in the office. So in this video, I'm going to unbox it for you, show you all the cool Pac-Man inspired design changes and software features. And if you like this video, please do give us a like tap subscribe and the notification bell, that would be lovely. Now even the unboxing experience with this special edition is different to the standard model. The box is covered in a Pac-Man themed cardboard sleeve which, when opened, reveals a really colourful ghost themed interior design. It's fun and it's a nice contrast from the subtle white exterior. The phone box itself features a colourful Pac-Man logo on the front and a subtle maze themed pattern all over it. If we lift the lid though, we get to the goodies inside and it starts, as always, with a sleeve full of extra bits. That includes the welcome card with crudely drawn doodles of OnePlus stuff and the SIM ejector tool. You get Nord stickers too, as well as the usual paperwork like the quick start guide and warranty information. There's a warp charge adapter sitting under a cover near the front. Sadly, nothing special or Pac-Man inspired about this, it's just your standard white power brick. If we lift the phone up and place it to one side, we'll also see the charging cable is the same OnePlus Red as usual. I can't help but feel like maybe OnePlus missed the trick here. It would have been cool to see colour themed cables and charging adapters. Similar to what it did with the McLaren Edition 6T when it made everything black and orange. Now as well as the phone box, OnePlus also sent us a box with a DIY phone cradle in it. As you can see it looks very similar to Lego, but technically speaking it's not Lego. This non-brand plastic block building kit includes basic instructions, lots of transparent bricks and a bright teal base, plus Pac-Man and the ghosts. Put them together and you get this structure, and the phone can be rested up inside it. Anyway, enough of that nonsense, let's get to the phone. As you'd expect, the Pac-Man edition Nord 2 looks and feels a lot like the original Nord 2. OnePlus hasn't changed the materials, the shape or the size of the phone. And looking at it from the outside initially, you might think the design changes are only subtle. For instance, the rear glass has a little yellow Pac-Man logo in the left corner, and if you catch it in the right light, you'll also spot the dots all over the back that it loves to eat oh so much. Other subtle changes include the OnePlus X Pac-Man text printed near the camera module, and the alert slider on the left edge, which has been swapped out for a vivid blue one, just to make it a bit less plain. However, arguably the biggest design change is one you can't see in daylight. It's only if you look really closely you might see a subtle maze pattern on the back. Turn the lights off though, and it becomes clearer. OnePlus has only gone and put a glow-in-the-dark pattern on the back of its special edition phone, one that looks like a maze and spells out the word Nord in block letters. One thing we will say is that the glow-in-the-dark effect isn't all that strong. In order to get it to show clearly, we had to hold the rear panel next to our bright studio LED lighting for a minute or so, and then when it does show, the brightness fades relatively quickly. Still, very cool. Combined with those design tweaks, OnePlus has also changed up the software theming to make it Pac-Man themed too. There are a few things to find in here. When you first power it up, the phone will be set to a Pac-Man theme. That means the lock screen and home screen wallpaper are Pac-Man inspired, with pretty cool animated home screen wallpaper set as the default. If you dive into the wallpaper options, there are a few others to choose from as well, but none of these are animated, just static. Then there's the fingerprint unlock animation. The sensor logo is Pac-Man outline in a circle maze, and when you press it, you'll see Pac-Man munching dots and being chased by colourful ghosts. All the stock pre-installed OnePlus icons have been themed to look like pixelated retro game inspired graphics too, and if you drop down the quick settings shade you'll see a Pac-Man silhouette under the toggles, which munches the dot if you swipe between pages. Now if you want to install one of OnePlus's more standard themes and icon packs, you can, but why would you if you had the Pac-Man phone? There are a couple of other additions too, if you head to gallery app and edit a photo, you'll find Pac-Man stickers in the stickers section. What's more, the Pac-Man 256 game by the same developers who made Crossy Road is pre-installed. Plug the phone into the warp charger and you'll get an animated Pac-Man graphic on the screen, and if you use it long enough you unlock another sticker to use in the gallery. Something of an easter egg. As you'd expect there's also pre-loaded custom notification and ringtone sounds and they're preset as the defaults. Yeah. 
So that's kind of fun, at least for the first few times you hear them ring. So that's pretty much it. From a hardware perspective, it's the same as the standard OnePlus Nord 2. It's 8.2mm thin, has a 6.43 inch AMOLED display with up to 90Hz refresh rates. It's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 AI processor, has 12GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, and a 4500mAh battery, complete with support for the superfast Warp Charge 65 flash charging that can fill the phone up in about 30 minutes. So there you go, a first look for you at the Pac-Man Edition OnePlus Nord 2. What do you think of it? Love it or hate it? Let me know in the comments, or you can get me on Twitter. I'm at Cam Bunton. If you did like this video, it would mean a lot to us if you hit thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell, and that way you won't miss any more of our uploads. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.